if you're planning a journey into outer space, here's a quick summary of the conditions to expect over the next few billion years, starting with our local star, the Sun. Nuclear reactions converting hydrogen to helium constantly give out huge amounts of energy. With a surface temperature of 6,000 degrees Celsius, a trip to the Sun is too hot to handle for all but the best protected space probes. Mercury rotates very slowly. The side pointing away from the Sun drops to minus 180 degrees Celsius. Facing the Sun, temperatures rocket up to a sweltering 400 Celsius. Venus is hot property too. It's further out from the Sun than Mercury, so you would expect it to be cooler. But a deadly atmosphere of carbon dioxide and sulfuric acid creates a greenhouse effect, boosting its temperature to 470 Celsius. That's hot enough to melt lead. Earth's greenhouse effect isn't as extreme. It's only slightly warmer than you'd imagine, averaging a comfortable 14 Celsius. Liquid water and an atmosphere able to support life make Earth unique. Mars, on the other hand, has hardly any atmosphere at all. Far from the Sun, its temperatures plummet way below zero. Its ice caps are a mixture of frozen carbon dioxide and water. Now moving much further out, Jupiter is the biggest planet in the solar system. It's made up of swirling gases under enormous pressure. Tremendous storms constantly sweep across its surface. Saturn is similar to Jupiter, both have an intensely hot rocky core which throws out more energy than these planets receive from the Sun. Uranus is much colder, it's an icy minus 200 Celsius, not a place to visit unless you have to. Neptune, the final gas planet, is colder still and boasts the fastest winds in the solar system, with gusts clocking in at over 2,000 kilometres an hour. Further past Neptune is the smallest planet, Pluto, which we know least about. It's so far away that no space probe has ever reached it.